to go ahead and click on the home dashboard. So it takes me back to where I started off when I first logged into to NetSuite. Um, and I want to talk about um, demand planning. So within NetSuite, um, on all of our items, we can say, hey, um, here's the order point or here's the min max. And those are manual calculations. But within NetSuite, once you get enough activity in there, you can have it start to uh, recommend um, different methods or uh, you recommend quantities that you should maintain. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Um, so over here in the demand planning, um, I can calculate the item demand. And so let's take a look at that. Um, so I'm going to click on this here. And NetSuite is allowing me to say, you know what, um, for all of these items that are not manually calculating what the, um, the order point order quantity or the min-max should be, for those ones that you said let's use automation, it's going to display those items and it will allow us to sign a specific method to it. So we're looking at the U.S. subsidiary and I would say, you know what, I'm going to look at the Las Vegas location. It will only show me the inventory items that are associated um, at that location for that subsidiary. And then NetSuite provides us four different ways to assign the projection method. So linear regression basically says, all right, what is the kind of straightest line of um, growing uh, demand that we would have? And so it uses a linear progression. Uh, moving average says, okay, let's take whatever time frame that you tell me to go back and look, um, average that out, and that's what we should be using for our demand. Um, sales forecast. So uh, if you have... Um, amazing salespeople and amazing sales pipeline that gets managed, you can definitely um, use a sales forecast. And what that does is it says, all right, tell me what um, quotes are out there and what opportunities are out there uh, for upcoming sales and use that as part of the demand. And so that's another way to, to do that. Um, and then the final one that they have is seasonal average. And so what NetSuite does with this one is it tries to look at it and says, okay, there's going to be a spike somewhere in here, um, and, and it an analyzes that. So those are the four methods that you can select. Um, and for each item, you would select that specific uh, method. And so one item uh, only gets one projection method. The projection um, interval, so we can either choose monthly or weekly. So if I'm going to purchase, uh, it's going to tell me, all right, on a, on a weekly basis, you need this many. Um, on a monthly basis, you need this many. And so um, you would define that as well. And then the projection duration, how far in advance do you want us to project? Three months, six months? So you can see what that demand looks like within that time frame. And then one of the final things that you have here is analysis. How far back do I want to go? So I would recommend if you guys started day one that you at least have um, three months of sales history to, to have the analysis. But six months is probably a better, uh, you'll get more accurate. And, and, and these are recommendations. Here, I see what you're recommending, um, NetSuite, but uh, I'm going to choose a little bit different quantity. So they are just recommendations, but you can, you know, use that automation to purchase. Um, so it'll go back and look at it. NetSuite also acknowledged that sometimes when I bring a new item on, um, I may have a similar item that has that history, and so if they give you this alternate source item. So um, I sell item A, item B I'm just bringing on, but it's going to behave probably a lot like item A, so use that history from a recommendation perspective uh, to generate your, your actual recommendation. Um, so this is the kind of step one, which is you know, calculating the uh, item demand. Um, from that, we would actually create an item demand plan. And let's um, come over here and take a look at, um, here I'm kind of showing you the, the uh, recent records here. And so I've got an item that has this specific demand plan. So let's take a look at that. Um, and so for this item demand plan that was generated, um, NetSuite's going in there, and you can see here I've specified that this was a seasonal average item. And um, from that recommendation, for the periods that are coming up, it's basically saying, yep, um, we are calculating these values. So this is kind of what we're estimating 
is going to be the monthly calculated demand based upon the seasonal average for this particular item. Okay, and so again, you can kind of look at that. You can modify it um, as as needed, but again, it's uh, uh, you know the recommendation there. So I've got the item demand um, now. Once I do that, then ultimately it's going to say, all right, now what's my supply? What do I need to buy for this particular item? And so let's take a look at a um, item supply plan. So we're going to go to the same thing. Um, so let's go to demand plans and a item supply plans. And I want to take a look at this item here, this BTS laptop assembly. So this is NetSuite has come in and said, um, I think that, uh, you know, your, go back, choose this other one here. Um, I think your, sorry, um, your demand or your, your supply should be these quantities. So on a, uh, on a regular basis, here are the quantities that we recommend that you purchase. Um, in this case, this is actually a, uh, an item that I manufacture. And so it's recommending that you that I create a work order for these quantities in each of these specific weeks. Um, so a nice little feature for that uh, to demonstrate the you know the work order capabilities. Um, if I go back and look at the list, um, here is this item here. Sorry to kind of jump around on you. This, this is that item that we were looking at before. Um, so for this item, the supply plan for the specified periods, as we look at this, we've got a little bit, you know, little quantities. And oh, there's that seasonal demand for us right at the end of the year through February. And then it just drops off again. And then has a kind of a steady rate there. And so this is the, the supply plan for that. And you look at that and you say, yep, I think that makes sense. Um, and then uh, it, once you create those purchase orders, it will tell you that. And so from here, if I go up to here, I can actually tell the system, go ahead and order these items. Uh, and it will allow us to generate that supply plan for us. So.